I'm going to give you an analysis of the article of the Canvic for Cabrini. Firstly, I'm to give you a brief introduction of the big four companies. They are the four biggest companies in the world uh, rendering services for the public companies and many private companies. They provide services to the companies like uh, taxation, corporate finance, and uh, some legal services. And uh, next, I need to give you some background information of the big four company. Firstly, the revenue of the big four is relatively high. So the, com the combined revenue of the big four is $130 billion for one year. And uh, secondly, the growing rate of the big four is relatively too high. The they are growing at a rate of 10% per year. That's even faster than in China. And uh, thirdly, they have a large number of employees. The big four company employee about 1 million people. The theory we are going to analyze from this article is agency theory, which explains the relationship between agent and the principles in a business. It is concerned with problem solving, which arises uh, in agency relationship due to aligned goals and different levels of risk aversion. From this article, we can know that the big force auditor serves as agents in this relationship and the big company's shareholder are principals. Because of this owner-manager relationship, the problem cannot be avoided. One of these problems needed to emphasize is auditing expectation gap, which is widely which has been widely debated recently. Because of the fact that every big company collapse is related to a big four auditors. So which what causes auditing expectation gap? Here is the first reason. It is the auditor's effort to detect fraud. For these auditors, maybe they are equipped with skills to find this uh, fraud, but they are failed to do that because of they are not willing to brainstorm the potential fraud schemes and scenarios. And also, they are affected by a traditional opinion that the ability required for predicting bankruptcy well beyond the ability to do financial statement. So the auditors think that they are not they will not be responsible for the prediction of the bankruptcy for a company. And next is because an auditor's ability to detect fraud. For these auditors, maybe they are willing to detect fraud which may pose potential risks to a company's development. But because of the limitation of the ability, they are not able to find the details regarding to it. For these auditors, maybe they are also over relying on client representations, so they cannot find the real financial situation of this company, which may, which may exert adverse effects on their judgment. Um, for the conclusion, uh, there are two possible consequences for the big four's future prospect. Uh, keep winning or break down readily. Uh, in, our, in our opinion, we, can, we conclude that the big four will break down readily. Here are some reasons. First of all, uh, the big four's uh, functions are highly com contestable and substitutable, such as uh, uh, consulting services and the preparation of financial statements. Uh, there are also many small local audit firms. Uh, <clears throat> they also can do this and uh, the, with the development of the local audit firms. There are also many uh, sophisticated auditors uh, with lower fees compared to the big four, so they are more competitive. Uh, furthermore, as for the, the consulting services, uh, is incompatible with the responsibility of independent auditors. Uh, when they uh, when they do when the auditors um, do doing the consulting work work, actually they already they are already involved in the management of the company. So there is a risk of uh, there, there is a self review risk. Uh, they, uh, the 
doctors cannot cast on and I'm based I on their own firm's work, uh, which will cause uh, audit risk. Um, ultimately, uh, because of the increasing of the big boss uh, um, audit failure, they are losing the public confidence 